Hey everybody, this is Billy Croft and I'm coming at you with this video to inform you of some new training props that we have in the EMS training division. As you can see, we have the iSimulate monitors uh, here in front of you. Uh, we used to have their software, uh, but unfortunately the license has run out. So we had to go in a different direction and we have a new app that we use called Simple, S-I-M-P-L. So let's take a look at uh, what we have inside here. Uh, as you can see, we have a battery backup here. Uh, you see that uh, uh, green flashing light there that turns um, that off and on. And basically this is for to power the iPads um, when they're charging. So um, if it's not on, you just turn it on. Um, as you can see right there, it's off. Uh, turn it back on. You go ahead and just press the button and you will have a green light. Uh, you do have a power cord to charge that battery. Um, you can plug that in when you're using it. Uh, we have some iPad uh, charging cords here. We have two iPads in here. Um, as you can see this one, uh, that's the instructor pad. And then we have um, on the front here, if I can open this up, um, you have the the iPad that would be the monitor. As you can see, it's plugged in here. Um, to get this, you just unplug it, and then you go in here and you open up, uh, get the iPad out. Um, iPads work like iPads work. Uh, as you can see, you can um, turn it on here at the home button. Um, go ahead and uh, slide it, slide it open. Actually, I'm gonna go to the home button here, and um, Check this out here. We'll get rid of this here. Um, we'll start from the very beginning. How about that? Um, go ahead and find the app, which is on the second page. Just slide over uh, to the next app, and you can see um, this app right here. It's simple, S-I-M-P-L. Go ahead and click that and open it up, and you're going to see here you have start, simulation, and join. So if you have the instructor pad, you want to join. It'll give you a code here. Um, this one's 8BBWS. They are case sensitive. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, grab the other iPad. Um, go ahead and open up uh, um, the app on this one also. Uh, please note that you need to be on Wi-Fi also. These are set up to go ahead and uh, attach to the NFD Wi-Fi. If it doesn't, just go ahead and manually type that in. So as this is booting up, um, you will see that uh, you want to join a simulation because you already started one. So go ahead and join that and it'll ask you to uh, go ahead and put that code in. So we'll go ahead and put that code in um, as seen on the other iPad and you can see right here it's 8BBWS and they are case sensitive so you need to make those capitals. Um, in my experience they've all been capitals. Um, so I'll go ahead and type this in. Um, it's a little hard to go ahead and videotape and, and type at the same time, um, but we'll get this done. So once we do this, um, you should be able to join the simulation, and voila, hit join, and there you go. Uh, both iPads look the same. You're on the same simulation here. And as you can see right here um, under the Vitals tab, this is where you go ahead and set up uh, what you want. On the top, there's cardiac monitors or cardiac rhythms. There's a bunch of them in here. Um, we're going to go ahead and do VFib. Um, this is your SPO2. You can set that. I just hit normal just to turn it on and then I go ahead and, and, and turn that down accordingly. Um, again, this is all touch. Okay, and here's your vital signs. Uh, again, I hit normal and then I set my vital signs to where I want them to be. Uh, systolic and diastolic there, and then capnography. This is the big one, okay? Um, since we're going to do a lot of stuff, I I usually set this down pretty low. As you can see, um, it's 2.7, um, but there's a way to change that, okay? As you can see on the other monitor, we're showing VFib. Now over here, you see that there's two forms: um, millimeters for mercury. That's the one we want to do it on. Um, just you just have to 
change it on the monitor itself okay to reflect that um, those also um, you can trend them um, you can defib uh, makes all the noises uh, that a monitor will make um, just got to make sure you charge it like I'm going to um, sorry about the glare so charge it'll show you shock and go ahead and shock um, pretty easy you can do vitals okay um, the monitor is set up with everything that you needed with pads puck pad capnography 12 lead 4 lead um, everything SPO2 everything that you need so basically uh, that is it it's pretty easy uh, to use um, if you need to if you want it just give me a call so to close out of this you hit that number up on top and just go ahead and go to main menu and you're at the beginning just turn off the uh, monitors and you're ready to go so thank you